Hey, what's up you guys? Shardmas Prime here doing another Marvel Legends reveal video. What an awesome week. I am on my break chilling and Hasbro has made a couple of reveals that I'm excited about. I am still cleaning up the dork room, trying to tidy up around here, not just the dork room, but all over the house. And I will continue on my break. But if there's announcements like this, I do have to talk about them. And this figure is going to be available for pre-order. I'm not sure if this is going to be a Hasbro Pulse exclusive or not. The Instagram post from the Hasbro Pulse IG page uh, said that it will be available on Hasbro Pulse on May 15th, 2024 at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I'm not sure it's, if it's going to be available everywhere, but it says that it'll be available on Hasbro Pulse on that date. And if you're trying to pick up your other Marvel Legends, you can do so. Big, 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 big. get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So this thing looks sick. I got to say, as soon as I saw the first image, which was this one right here, I was like, oh crap, this looks like it's going to be amazing. I already think it may top my SH Figure Arts figure. The listing says, or the post says that this is going to be eight and a half inches tall, and we are getting bendy wire tendrils over here with this figure, which makes me so freaking happy. I'm so happy to see this. If there was a version of this figure coming from Marvel Legends, I mean, this is what I would imagine. I, I, I want that. They're doing it. I am excited about it, and the figure itself looks really, really good. And you can see that he's going to come with two head sculpts. I am thrilled that he is coming with a head that does not have the tongue sticking out. That makes me very, very happy. That was a big gripe of mine. Now, I know this is not the best Marvel movie out there or in, uh, interpretation of Carnage that we wanted to see, right? I have my complaints about the movie for sure. It's definitely not one of my favorites. I would not consider it one of the absolute worsts, even though I know other people would, but I don't think it's the, one of the worst Marvel movies out there from Sony. Uh, I, I think it lands somewhere in the middle, but I thought th it would be cool to have this version, especially because I have the MCU Venom already, and I gotta say this looks badass. I love the accessories that we're seeing over here. Uh, the posability looks really good. You could have them more slimmed down. I like that. I do feel like the lower waist is kind of sticking out a little bit. I feel like it could be tapered in a little bit more towards the middle, but damn, he's got the pinless joints over here. It looks like he's going to have a ton of paint on him. The sculpted detail, all the little tiny tendrils coming off the legs right there look great. We have that huge axe or the blade, and then all the tendrils poured into the back of the figure. Uh, Hasbro's not trying to hide it. Uh, I'm going to complain about this when I review the figure, but the back of it doesn't have any paint on it. I can see, well, I can see some paint on the back of the legs, a little bit on the back of the neck, but you can see, you know, the back of the arms and his back are, are not painted. Uh, we'll see how much that actually bothers me once I get it in hand. Will he have articulated toes? I don't think he will, but Damn, seeing him loaded up with these accessories and the interchangeable hands right over there just looks so damn sick. I think the head looks accurate to how he looked in the film too. So, oh man, and it looks super articulated. Look at that. No tour articulation, but still, you're able to get him in a squat right over here. They did not say how much he's going to cost. I didn't see the price point on this figure. I'm assuming it's going to cost somewhere around the $55 mark. I feel like an eight and a half inch figure, uh, this could definitely be a Build-A-Figure, right? Like I think this could fill in the space of a Build-A-Figure. So I'm thinking like Build-A-Figure price point. I wouldn't think that if it wasn't for the tendrils and all the accessories, but because there's so much going on with him, eight and a half inch figure, th there have been plenty of Build-A-Figures smaller than that. So if I'm thinking around 55 bucks, maybe 60, uh, well, yeah, like the blob, the blob was 60 bucks. Then you have to take into account for Sony getting their cut. I'm just trying to be realistic here. I'm not advocating for prices by any means. Don't get it confused. I'm just trying to maintain a realistic perspective instead of just commenting with emotion. I'm trying to actually think about what I'm saying here. Realistically, I'm thinking it's going to cost about 60 bucks. What do my emotions want it to cost? 35 bucks. 
But realistically, I think it's going to be 60 bucks. But yeah, my heart wants it to be 35. My brain is saying that it's going to be 60. What do you guys think? If it's 60 bucks, are you going to pick it up? Man, I feel like 60 is a stretch. Damn, but I, I love the bendy wires. I, I could see myself having a lot of fun with this figure, man. I'm very excited about it, and the details on it look really, really good. Kind of reminds me of the Searcher figure in a way as far as, like, the paint apps and the texturing throughout. I'm very pumped for this one, man. I really want this figure very, very badly. I don't... At Maximum Carnage was one of my all-time favorite... Has always been one of my all-time favorite reads, so I'm emotionally connected to... the the character and I, I guess you could say there's a little bit of hypocrisy there when i say hey thinking with your you know mind instead of your emotions well shoot man if i was thinking with my mind the whole time i wouldn't have ever gotten into collecting in the first place i'm just saying specifically with the pricing i'm trying to think with my mind all right not everything all right <laughs> we gotta have some fun here while we're on this rock anyway let me know what you think let me know if you enjoyed this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button i have a optimus primal review and i also have a mezco 112 collective superman video i want to post because i saw that new image of superman and oh my god I'm, oh man i think james gunn's gonna crush this superman movie i'm very excited about it and i want to talk about my new superman figure even though it's been out for a while anyway hope you guys have a good weekend i might have some posts come up this weekend i might not we'll see i'm still focusing on cleaning up my dork room and the rest of my place and getting myself personally organized and on that note i hope you guys have a good one and i will catch you later Peace. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.